okay uh, uh, so for this model we have already seen that that f statistics is significant and we are happy about it and we have already seen that that out of two variable one is significant so we are so far happy about it now we want to check whether this estimated model has serial correlation or not that we want to check and and we can check it from the Durbin Watson value right okay okay so f so first I talk about what does mean by serial correlation serial correlation means it means what serial correlation I just make it up sorry so we talk about this one Durbin Watson statistic right Okay, what is serial correlation? I just write about it slightly. I sorry, it has become so big. Okay, it's come up. Okay, I can write here. Okay. Okay, serial correlation means when the residual of this model that we have estimated are correlated when the because here will be re residual right there are there will be many residual many ma many plot right ma many dot 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 many residual so whether residuals are correlated or not and when the residuals are co correlated then the problem of serial correlation arises Okay, how to detect whether there is a serial correlation or not? So, uh, so we can use the. Well, actually, there are many tests. Out of many tests, we can use the Durbin Watson statistics. Durbin Watson statistics right that is uh, that is the test given in SPSS Durbin Watson statistics that is the way we can do it okay what is the guideline actually this uh, Durbin Watson value Durbin Watson value value uh, uh, can be from 0 from 0 to 4 that is the range of the Durbin Watson value okay if the Durbin Watson value so this one I call it Durbin Watson value in brief okay if the Durbin Watson value or statistics is close to zero close to uh, close to zero meaning that indicating indicating strong positive correlation among residuals And if the Durbin Watson value close to four, meaning that there exists a strong negative correlation, no negative serial correlation in the model. So here and 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 when the Durbin Watson value is close to 2 meaning that there is no serial correlation no serial correlations okay here according to the guideline 
there should not be negative or positive correlation among the residual meaning that there should not have any serial correlation among the residual only then we can accept the model and it is only possible when the Durbin version value is close to 2 close to 2 all the time okay and we check our value that we have got you can see from here the Durbin version value we have got how much I'm sorry Durbin version value we have got how much 1.712 Durbin version value we have got we have got 1.712 and that is close to 2 close to 2 meaning that our model our estimated model is not suffering from serial correlation oh, as a result we can use this model for forecasting or prediction okay normally what is the guideline actually the guideline is if the Dur Durbin Watson value if the Durbin value is is in between is in between 1.5 1 to 2.5 then we can say in this model there is no serial correlations meaning that the the residuals are not correlated so so I'm saying saying again what is the guideline if the Durbin Orson value is in between 1.5 to 2.5 then we can say that there is no serial correlation meaning that residuals 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 are not serially correlated correlate residuals are not serially serially correlated or there is there is no autocorrelation same meaning there is no autocorrelation among residuals and that is desirable there should not be any serial correlation or autocorrelation in the residual and if that happen we can accept the model that is the always guideline 